right, everybody. So I am actually back here at the Delaware Art Museum, and I'm really excited to be back here because they have a new exhibit that's going to be coming out very soon called the African American Images, um, the Vision of uh, Percy Ricks. Sorry. Um, but here to talk to me about that a little bit more and give me some more information is the contemporary art curator, Margaret Winslow. Hi, Margaret. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having Thank us and you. for being here in the museum. I, I always love coming here and I always like love hearing about the new exhibits and things that are happening down here at the Delaware Art Museum. And this was something that um, when I met with Amelia a little while ago, she kind of gave me a little bit of a hint that this was coming. So I'm really happy to be back. Can you tell me a little bit about what this new exhibit is all about? Sure, so we're very excited to be opening Afro-American Images 1971, mm -hmm. The Vision of Percy Ricks, open to the public on October 24th, running through January 23rd of next year. And this is a massive undertaking, a project that we've been working on for more than five years wow. to restage a show that was held in Wilmington, in the Armory, in 1971. Yeah. And that 1971 exhibition was a celebration of the artistic creativity of African-American artists at the 1970s, at the start of the 1970s. So we're excited to partner with Aesthetic Dynamics to restage it 50 years later. This is great. And now I know Aesthetic Dynamics was sort of the original, right? They were the original ones to produce it with, um, with, with all of these different artists and all these people. So to talk about it for just a second, so 1971, let's think about this. So a lot of African-American artists, they, they really didn't have that opportunity to really showcase their work. So this was a really pivotal exhibit that they did back in 1971, right? It certainly was, and it was a massive undertaking then. Yeah. So a little history about aesthetic dynamics and Percy Ricks. Percy Ricks was an artist, educator, community activist, supporter in Wilmington, mm -hmm. working in the 1950s and 1960s. And he had connected with other folks who were supporting arts and culture in the city and conceived of a multiracial artist collective. And in 1970, they officially incorporated aesthetic dynamics. Okay. And this first exhibition, Afro-American Images, was their first major undertaking. Wow. And it was to provide a space for African-American artists to showcase their creativity. And Percy Ricks wanted to provide that space for them. The Delaware Art Museum was not doing so. Mm -hmm. Percy Ricks reached out the, to the museum. The museum did not return his calls. The museum did not adequately support the work of black artists at that time. So they created their own space. And in doing so, he supported this group of artists and showed Wilmington just how important their work was. And it is some incredible work. I mean, I know we have um, another artist behind us that's going to be showcasing the exhibit as well, correct? Yes, Edward Loper Sr. Right. And I mean, and the work that I see is just incredibly beautiful. Um, the one that I just saw that really caught my eye was from 1937. That's amazing to me. So their work is, was amazing then and even more amazing now. Mm -hmm. um, but how many, let me ask, so in 1971, this was a huge undertaking. How many artists was he able to really pull together? How many did he showcase? So there were around 65 artists. Okay. Over 130 works of art. Wow. So it's no surprise that he needed the Wilmington Armory. This was the one of the largest um, open kind of temporary exhibition spaces wow. in the city. It wasn't used before that explicitly for exhibitions, but it had a lot of space yeah. and they could put walls in there. So he included local artists like Edward Loper Jr., okay. Edward Loper Sr., Simi Knox, Robert C. Moore, and then Percy Ricks drew on his wonderful artistic network that extended from DC all the way up to New York. So he put the local creativity in a regional context. And he included some of those artists at that time who have gone on to impact contemporary art in the second half of the 20th century. Wow. Some were incredibly well known at that time. They were celebrated for their artistic creativity. Some were just starting out. They were just getting out of graduate programs like um, Barclay Hendricks or Sam Gilliam early in their career. Yeah. 
Now we know those names because of how important their artistic careers have been. Wow. I just have to digest that for a second. That's crazy. I mean, because you think about that, I mean, what a pivotal thing that this was for so many. I mean, like you said, how many artists? 63? Around 65. Around 65. For 65 artists to have sort of this open space to where they could finally showcase their work and really open it to the public, I mean, that's incredible. And now, like you said, Delaware Art Museum obviously didn't answer his calls back to 1971, but here we are 50 years later, and we have this beautiful exhibit coming back to Wilmington. So tell me how much of a challenge it was for you to pull all of these pieces together from all over the United States, right? Mm -hmm. Back here for the same, in the same room, in the same space, again, 50 years later. How difficult of a challenge was that? It was the best curatorial challenge there is. <laughs> so a project like this is really a wonderful treasure hunt. Mm -hmm. So the genesis of the project really started back in about 2015 when the museum presented the exhibition Dream Streets, okay. which was a look at Wilmington's art community in the 1970s and 80s. Dr. James Newton, who's a member of Aesthetic mm -hmm. Dynamics, a very good friend of Percy Ricks, he and I began discussing the possibility of restaging this exhibition because we realized it was underdocumented. Yeah. If you look at art history books, you don't see this exhibition listed, but those, anyone who knows the field realizes just how important it was. So then began the hunt, uh -huh. the treasure hunt of trying to connect with, in some cases, the artists who were still living, their families, their estates. And then the goal was to track down all of the original works of art from the 1971 show. I got about 25% of them, Okay, which is actually pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with, uh, with that percentage. However, the majority of the artists were included. And okay. when we could not find the original work of art, we found an example that was comparable in style, subject matter, and period. So we're getting as close to Percy Ricks' as as original, original vision as possible. That's awesome. So like, that was gonna be my next question for you was so, how many pieces are going to be um, showcased at the exhibit here at the Delaware Art Museum? So we have 99 works of art. 99, there you go. So we're, we're pretty close, yeah. and it is a very full installation. Wow. Artists at this time period, they're experimenting with style, they're experimenting with media, they're using industrially produced materials, mm -hmm. and they're working on a much larger scale. Yeah. So you'll see, visitors will see when they go into the space, just how, in some cases, large and impressive these works of art are. I know, I can't wait. So for audience member, or for our audience members who want to come and check it out on October 24th, what could they expect to see? Like, I mean, yes, they're going to see 99 beautiful pieces of art, but what kind of, is there going to be like histories and, or any, is there a guided tour or anything like that that might also accompany this? That's a wonderful question. Okay. So there will be tours, programs, interpretation of the exhibition and the history throughout the run of the show. Okay. In addition, we have an almost 200 page long catalog that's available for purchase in the museum store. Oh, we have one gallery space that's dedicated to examining the history of aesthetic dynamics. Okay. So folks will get a sense of what that history was, what the vision was, and what the kind of general impact sure. of Percy Ricks's vision has been. And then they'll see paintings, drawings, works on paper, prints, and sculpture. So yeah. a very diverse exhibition in style and subject matter. That's great. I mean, because for me, it's one of those things, it's beautiful to walk in and see something like this, but what I love and appreciate about it so much is the history that comes along with it. So it's really great to hear that you're going to get a little bit of both when you come to see this exhibit. This has been fantastic. I cannot okay. appreciate I do not I appreciate you so much for sitting down and taking the time with me and telling me more about this exhibit. And it's going to be until January, right? Until January 24th. Okay, perfect. So, or excuse me, 23rd. 23rd. There yes, we go. January so October, 23rd. October 24th to January 23rd. Uh, guys, get down here and check it out. You will not regret it. Tons of information and what a historical historical thing to see. So, get down to the Delaware Art Museum. Thank you so much. I appreciate you again for taking the time to sit down with me. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.